Welcome to The Weekend with me, Steve Savant, national insurance columnist, financial color commentator, and host of the daily internet talk show, The Business Insurance Zone. Today, I'm on ProducersWeb.com, one of the big insurance industrial sites where I tweet, blog, and write articles. And today, I have an article that I wrote a couple uh, months back called Dial a Death Benefit Guarantee and how it's wreaking havoc with guaranteed universal life spreadsheets. Now, generally, I don't get this deep on a weekend, but I just want to touch base with a lot of people because we have consumers as well as good, solid producers who are starting to question, what are we doing here using this new technology where you can actually dial the death benefit, what age the client will have. Now, we've been used to this in term. We have five-year, 10-year, 15-year, 20-year, 30-year term. Eh, we have 40-year term now. It's unbelievable. So we could dial all the way up to a death benefit, maybe at age 85, 90, 95, 100. We can go all the way out to 130. The revolution among life expectancy has been huge. But we're looking at some of the guarantees now because GUL, or Guaranteed Universal Life, uses secondary guarantees, or no lapse guarantees, and some contracts use shadow accounts. These accounts could become problematic in the future if we maintain low interest rate environment that we're into right now. And when I look at all the spreadsheets on the grid, which are huge, and I check those every 30 days to see what kind of movement, we've seen a lot of carriers leave the guaranteed universal life market because they really feel like they cannot be profitable any longer and they'd have to reserve too much. And that brings me to my point. Shadow accounts right now are a kind of a good cheating way to circumvent the ability to reserve money for obligations in the future. And so far, nobody's really called that many carriers out. I saw an article put out by the New York actuaries about a couple weeks back that actually was talking about this very thing, that we're not parking enough money in reserves. This kind of reminds me of the old triple X issues of the year 2000, where that the same reserve uh, gripes and the same commentary was occurring back in the day. Now we're sitting here looking at dial a death benefit based on six different categories that are not even what I would classify as even table ratings, where you have super preferred, preferred plus, preferred non-smoking, standard plus, and standard, and then we don't even do table A any longer or table one. So we incorporate all that and figure out where does it land on the guaranteed universal life? How can I go ahead and plug in a super preferred who I know is going to live past age 90 and only dial the death benefit to age 90 when I know that the odds are life expectancy on a woman at super preferred is going to be beyond that. I'll be right back. Companies in our business are always touting service, products, and underwriting. And we do that too. But here's the difference. Now enter the world of the elite producer with a value package that cuts us out of the pack, a BD that approves social media marketing of non-FINRA products and doesn't take an override. With the best competition desk in the industry, and for our loyal producers, a true group health plan. No one offers that. Brokers Alliance does. Well, welcome back. I'm Steve Savant, and I'm on the producersweb.com, one of the largest insurance industrial sites on the internet where I tweet, blog, and write articles, and I'm talking about dial a death benefit guarantee and how it wreaks havoc with GUL contracts. Think about it, some of our guaranteed universal life contracts that are using shadow accounts may not be guaranteed. Think about that. When we talk about guaranteed level term, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, even up to 40 years, we always share with the client, this is the premium, it's locked in, it's guaranteed but some guaranteed universal life contracts that are using these shadow accounts to, so that they don't have to reserve as much for it, which is a good pricing model for them, could actually incur a problem where the client would actually have to pay more in premium because a trigger would occur and they would actually wind up paying beyond the guaranteed universal life premium that they were quoted when it was issued. If this occurs and goes unchecked, it's gonna ruin the kind of safety net that we've promised the public all along. Is guaranteed universal life guaranteed? Depends upon if you're using shadow accounts and no lapse guarantees. I wanna be able to talk about things like this and bring it to your attention because it matters. It's about our practice, it's about our business and the integrity of our industry. Is your guaranteed universal life guaranteed? Better check the shadow accounts. I'm Steve Savant, have a great weekend.